in vascular surgery, we not only are technicians uh, managing surgical problems, but we manage vascular disease as well. But typically, uh, patients will come uh, with uh, two categories of problems. One is venous. There are patients who've had phlebitis in the past. There are patients who have what's called venous reflux, uh, the most common cause of which is varicose veins. The other general category is arterial, uh, which encompasses both aneurysms, carotid artery surgery, uh, and management for patients who are at risk for stroke. And it encompasses peripheral arterial problems, uh, the most common of which are atherosclerotic occlusions or narrowings of leg arteries, which for many people generate a disability, uh, sometimes a significantly uh, impeding lifestyle. And for some few, uh, uh, put the limbs at risk. And in those situations, we need to jump in for limb salvage, uh, that is uh, preventing amputation. The um, medical center here offers not only the traditional therapies, but uh, because of our advanced technologies and because uh, we are in a position to test new technologies and because we're often approached for clinical trials, we have the opportunity to treat not only standard problems with standard therapies, but we have an opportunity to treat very complex problems with uh, very specialized uh, methods, many of which, in fact, uh, may not be available at other institutions. This includes new technologies, uh, such as different varieties of stents, medicated, non-medicated, covered, non-covered, delivered in different ways. Our division and my personal involvement uh, on the vascular side uh, is both clinical and experimental. On the clinical side, we look at outcomes. We have, uh, over the past several years, written and presented at uh, major national forums and publications. We're fortunate here to have a world-class medical school and university. Uh, we have uh, such interesting and talented students. They both assist us, uh, learn from us, and help us because they come from different parts of the country, different institutions, different exposures. And that uh, often uh, directly and sometimes uh, indirectly uh, helps us not only in managing and dealing with our patients, but in treating them medically. Vascular medicine is an extraordinary field um, because of the very rapidly, almost revolutionary, evolving methodologies and technologies uh, so that our treatment uh, modalities have become safer. Uh, they've become applicable towards managing sicker patients. We are moving, as many other fields are, into uh, much more non-invasive or minimally invasive technologies. So there are several uh, aspects, uh, both the surgical and the medical, that are uh, rapidly changing.